in the second half was the school record for fewest points allowed in the second half. And the shutout in the fourth quarter is the school record for points allowed in the quarter as well. Questions for the players? And then let's, let's raise our hands and we'll pass the mic to you. Maria? And Steve? Maybe you got off to an excellent start, and uh, just what does that do for your confidence to open that way, and what's the difference for you this season from last season? Um, just being more aggressive. I mean, Holly, she always tells me that I need to attack, attack the basket more and, and stop selling the three, so today I just try to attack the basket and do whatever it takes to my team. Steve? For Mimi, I think you were on the floor for most of the fourth quarter. Did you all know that – they hadn't scored in that period at all, or was that something that was on your mind at all and looked like it came down? No, it was just really our mindset is just to get defensive stops. I mean, I don't think we're really worried about them not scoring. I mean, we're just worried about getting stops. So. Mercedes, you got these four games in a row at home right now. What, what, what are you hoping to accomplish in these games, and what did you accomplish tonight that was sort of what you guys wanted to do? Uh, I think our goal is just to improve and get better every single game. Um, obviously, on both ends of the floor, defensively and offensively, but defense is our first priority, so obviously improving our game from here on out. And I think tonight, obviously, we set a couple records, and our defense was really strong, and holding them to zero in the fourth quarter was huge. Steve and then Dan. So when you're playing a team like this, like their tallest player that played was 6-1, I mean, just how much do you kind of, does that enter your mind from the scouting report going into a game knowing you have such a high advantage, it's something you can take advantage of? Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, just pound it inside as much as you can, and I think we did a pretty good job of that in tonight's game. Damn. Mercedes, how big is it if, if Andy can, can give you that kind of scoring, you know, 11-15 or something like that? I mean, is that, how much of a boost is that? you overall do you think? Well it's definitely huge uh, especially when I mean all of our guards are hitting shots outside they can't really just stay in the paint the whole game and they're gonna have to go out and guard them so it's huge whenever you know we're attacking a transition and hitting threes. Rihanna. Maybe kind of a weird question but was there something like bug on you in the official what, what was that he like killed something I was um, kind of confused. It was a wasp <laughs> oh, it, was, oh, it, was, it was like my, I guess he got stuck to my head. Yeah. He got it off of him. He killed it. Yeah. Yeah. Other questions? Maria and Steve? Mimi, when, when the posts are, are blocking shots like that, what, what does that do for y'all as a team when, when you get that kind of block? It gives us a spark. It just, you know, gets, it gets our energy up. I mean, I, I love when they block the shots. It gets us hype, and you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. <laughs> just for both of you, what does it mean to have this kind of defensive performance? I know obviously it was a one-sided game, but just for your confidence and to, I know Holly talks about defense rebounding all the time to kind of get this kind of effort. Yeah, it's definitely huge for us. We've been uh, emphasizing it in practice lately more and more because we know every night we're, gonna, we're not going to shoot as well as we usually do. And so we can always rely on our defense and I think tonight we did a really good job. Further questions for the players? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.